What's going on everybody? So I'm back from the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, we got a lot of new information regarding the iOS 15 jailbreak. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Fugu 15 jailbreak for iOS 15.4.1 developed by Linus Hens. If you don't know who he is, he is basically the one who developed Fugu 14, which was the iOS 14 untethered jailbreak using the Uncover um, application or jailbreak um, by Pwn. But we haven't had an untethered jailbreak in years, and he was able to do it just like that. We've been using a semi-tethered jailbreak uh, for the last couple of years, meaning that if you reboot your device or your device dies, you do need to run the jailbreak app every single time, which a lot of people weren't used to, but now it's kind of common now um, in today's uh, jailbreak. But basically, yeah, he developed Fugu 14, um, has done a lot for the community, and now he's back at it again with Fugu 15. So um, he is basically going to be showcasing Fugu 15 um, in October at the Objective by the Sea conference. So if you actually go to this link, which I'm linked down below in the description on their website, Objective by the Sea, you guys will see he actually posted this uh, saying, with the introduction of the new mitigation in iOS 15 and especially 15.4, Creating a jailbreak became significantly more uh, significantly more difficult before a kernel vulnerability was enough for jailbreaking, but now a PAC or a PPL bypass is required as well. Some people even said that iOS 15.1.1 would be the last version to receive a public jailbreak. And um, if we scroll down right here, he says a demo of Fugu. 15 will also be shown, including an interesting and uncommon way to install fugu 15 on a device so um looking back at the sentence right here some people even said that i was 15.1.1 would be the last version uh coolstar did actually mention that she said that um since it's getting harder apple is just making it a lot more difficult this would likely be the last jailbreak she develops just because of how much uh difficult it's been um, over the last couple of years, especially, uh, especially on iOS 15, because iOS 16 is almost out and we still don't have a jailbreak for iOS 15. But yeah, uh, with this uh, Fugu 15, this is great news for anyone who um, accidentally or just wanted to test out iOS 16 and update it basically past iOS 15.1.1. So if you guys have done that, you're on 14.8, 14.7, or even iOS 16 beta, and you can't obviously downgrade back because no longer signed by Apple, um, we can actually downgrade to iOS 15.5 beta 4 because it does actually support the Fugu 15 jailbreak. So if we actually go to iDevice Central, um, Hugh Tresham, he has his iOS signing status page, uh, which is very useful. So if I go to iPhone 13 Pro right here, you guys will see right here, if we scroll down, sign iOS betas for this version and iOS 15.5 beta 4 is still signed. Um, RC does not support the Fugu 15 jailbreak. So make sure you guys downgrade ASAP while it's still signed and still signed to this day, July 26, 5.49 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, make sure you guys do the ASAP because if you guys don't, you may be out of luck for a jailbreak. So obviously, um, the conference is in October. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this video is because obviously a lot of people may have already updated past 15.1.1 because we have the Chayote or Taurine jailbreak or whatever you want to call it coming out very soon. But that only supports 15.0 through 15.1.1 um, so obviously if we scroll down right here to normal iOS versions um, and none of these versions are currently signed like 15.0 0.02, 0.1.1, 15.1, and even 15.1.1 are no longer signed, so you can't get on those firmware if you updated past that. Um, last thing I do want to mention, um, make sure you guys go follow Yalu Jailbreak. Their Twitter will be down below in the description. They basically update everything in the jailbreak uh, scene, community, what's been going on, especially the Chayote Jailbreak. There's been a lot of updates over the last couple of days uh, by Torin um, and their Discord. Um, but he, uh, she even posted a jailbreak progress for A11, A14 right here and basically what she needs to work on. Um, but uh, make sure you guys go follow them, turn on your uh, notifications so you guys will get all their posts right away. But um, one thing I do want to mention, this was 16 hours ago, very important. JLG jailbreak may not, may not support A10 and A15 on its release. So um, she or one of their developers posted this right here. Just want to give you guys a quick heads up. But uh, there you guys have it. Main video is if you updated past 15.1.1, downgrade 
to 15.5 beta 4 ASAP before it's no longer signed by Apple. This is one of your last chances of getting a jailbreak on iOS 15. There you guys have it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, drop a like on it, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. That's basically it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.